The Niger State government has called for synchronization of its policies with those of the National Hydropower Producing Areas Development Commission to avoid duplication of intervention projects. Chenemi Bamiye reports. 2023 electricity bill, four new states were added to the commission and the commission was now rebranded as the National Hydropower Producing Areas Development Commission. Niger State hosts four hydroelectric power dams, which is why the commission says 32% of its interventions are done in the state. The Niger State Governor Umaru Bago receives the management of the commission on a courtesy call. He uses the opportunity to seek deeper cooperation with the commission. This, he believes, can lead to more being done and better results can be achieved if the commission synchronizes its intervention plans with that of the state to avoid duplication of projects in a particular area. It's absurd to find out that uh, you build schools where we're also building schools because there's no communication. Or you provide life jackets or life support programs where we have just done that. Or food intervention and other interventions. But once we synchronize our programs, we work in tandem and that will bring the desired uh, goals that we uh, are looking for. So the meeting was a good one and uh, we'll assure uh, if we are able to implement those issues we have discussed today, the communities will be the better for it. The Nigerian Meteorological Agency, NIMET, has Niger State squarely in its sights as one of the states to be affected by flood. These flood predictions for 2023, coming in a timely fashion, should prepare the state and the commission to increase timely interventions to identified areas. So we are using the local languages to talk to the people and uh, we are using the traditional institutions to talk to the people and uh, we are using even local town criers to give early warning signs, and uh, that was why in the 2022 flooding, m m lives were not lost as previously, and we are hoping that no life will be lost this year, God willing. The management of Hyperdeck also noted that it is set to do more with expected increase in funding as a result of the 2023 electricity bill that mandates Jenkos to pay part of the revenues to the commission. Chenemi Bami. CVC News, Mina.